Uh, hi, I'm Matty Wright. I am a Barbadian professional triathlete, or Bayesian, as we say. And I've, I guess, been doing the sport properly since I was about 18. I'm now 28. Um, so I was 10 years, but I did my first one when I was eight years old as a relay with a friend. He did the bike and I did the swim and the run. But yeah, like I played all the sports as a kid growing up. Uh, you know, mainly love like cricket or football, but being in front of Caribbean, obviously a lot of beat sports, surfing, etc. Um, and yeah, kind of didn't, I never, I like not, I had a knack for swimming, but I didn't actually join a swim club till I was 13, 14. So yeah, the triathlon was just kind of a monthly thing, but no training, no nothing. Um, and when I was 13, 14, I joined the swim club and then that quickly followed by me joining the track club. I got a lot of success as a like young kid in Barbados in long distance running. So I kind of fell in love with that. You know, that's the first time I was in the newspaper and stuff. So that kind of gave me the first like, okay, well, this is very different to like the team sports I was playing before when I run, you know, when I work hard by myself, I get the results. But like in football and stuff, you know, like we had a few good players, but the team didn't do very well and it was frustrating. Um, so yeah, that was kind of the main love, like I love track, because obviously who doesn't love being successful at something? And yeah, that kind of, you know, my dad's British, so there was a lot of chat of Loughborough University being like the top sports university in the UK and stuff when I was like 15, 16, 17. Um, Cause I had a few offers for like track scholarships to America and stuff, but with, yeah, with my dad being British, coming to Britain every summer, you know, I kind of, you know, here felt like a second home, so I, started studying at Loughborough in 2010 and that was my first taste of like elite level professional triathlon uh so, you know the British triathlon headquarters was um located there and I was training with some you know some of the best guys in the world you know your Will Clark um Holly Ava was there Stu Hayes Liz Blatchford yeah Matt Sharp Aaron Harris you know a bunch of Adam Bowden um you know, a bunch of really good, good guys that were, you know, racing World Series, racing World Cups. And yeah, a little old me from Barbados thrown in a deep end there. Um, did the most training I'd ever done in my entire life, you know, for the going into Christmas and after and came on leaps and bounds. I think my young body just like accepted everything that was thrown at me. And yeah, I did really well. And then unfortunately kind of had a, pretty big injury my, after my first year, after qualifying for World Juniors, um, World Junior Triathlon Champs. And then that kind of snowballed into two, three years where, or maybe four years where I kind of lost my way a bit, you know, after not being able to train every day and not having, you know, the focus, you know, I got into, you know, uni life a bit, party a bit, etc. But probably 2014, 2015, I, you know, met a really good physio in Barbados in Loughborough, sorry, and he got me back on the straight and narrow and went to the Commonwealth Games in 2014, which was a big, like, wow moment for me where I was like, yeah, this is what I want to do. I want to be at these sort of multi-sport games, you know, racing with some of the best. And then, yeah, I had a good last year in 2015. It was my last year in Loughborough, sorry, and then I decided to move to um, Canada to join uh, what was then a Canadian High Performance Centre in Guelph and that was fantastic of um, you know training with another good group of guys in a new country and unfortunately the centre got all of its funding cut off the Rio Olympics as Triathlon Canada didn't quite perform the way they wanted to so my coach decided to just run in a private um, yeah his private his own private setup from there where we kind of paid him instead of triathlon canada and continued to train there till 2018 but yeah it was you know stuff kind of became a bit more developmental after the olympics and i then you know been seeing that the guy's been doing really well in cardiff that my ex training partner slash housemate luke watson was now head coach down there a few of the guys i was training with in luck were like adam bowden and yes and harrett um Jenny Manners, Vicky Johnston, they were all, all moved down as well. And it seemed basically like Loughborough had transferred to Cardiff. So yeah, I gave Luke a call in the middle of 2018 when, you know, things weren't going quite my way. And, you know, I was realizing Guelph wasn't quite for me. And yeah, we had a great two hour conversation on the phone and 
decided to come up and try it out at the end of 2018 for two weeks and even though it pissed with rain every single day it still wasn't enough to <laughs> made the move um made the move in january 2019 to join the ntpcw and i haven't looked back since